ask y'all to do is first to join me in expressing our appreciation to this panel, and we'll let them. Y'all uh, hold your seats for just a moment, and uh, I'll get us that last step closer to dinner. How about that? Uh, again, we are honored and indebted to, to our legislators uh, taking time out of their schedule. Secretary of State is taking, coming in from D.C. and wanting to get away, we understand. All right, I'm going to close this out with three announcements, and then we'll have an invocation, and then we'll eat. Very quickly, um, coming up on the calendar, these announcements are all calendar related, and I think that you all have it at your tables. You don't even need to write these dates down, because they're all included in this little tent card. But do pay attention, if you will. ACCG every year hosts the uh, Capital Connection Conference in Atlanta at the Marriott Marquis. I know I've seen many of you in attendance in the past. Uh, we will have some new features this year to the conference on February 3rd and 4th. We do anticipate hearing from the governor, the lieutenant governor, and the speaker on day two. And we will be hosting a legislative breakfast, so make sure that you reach out to your legislative delegation and invite them to come to breakfast with us. Um, number two, I'm going to skip to the bottom of the card and talk about April 11th to the 14th. Ross mentioned it in his remarks, so did President Berg. Um, we are thoroughly excited to uh, welcome folks to Chatham County and Savannah for our annual conference for the Centennial Celebration. There will actually be three organizations celebrating their centennial all in the same location uh, during that time. Do not wait until the last two, the last week in April, which is when we traditionally have gone to Savannah because we will have already been there. So make sure you adjust your calendars. And make sure that you adjust your GPS unit to go across the river to the Hutchison Island facility. For those of you that are so, uh, so used to like I am, I feel like I live a week of my life every year in the Savannah Civic Center, but we get to uh, expand our horizons a little bit this year and take water taxis and do all kinds of great stuff like that. So uh, put that on your calendars. We, uh, we welcome you. We invite you to join us. It will be a great time. It will feature all kinds of new things that we've never done before in an ACCG annual meeting. And lastly, to the very uh, point that why I now wear an ACCG name tag instead of a UGA one, uh, Ross mentioned that I, the Lifelong Learning Academy is really beginning to take shape. For those of you that have uh, been in office for quite some time, or maybe you've taken some training classes with ACCG, we have transitioned to the Lifelong Learning Academy. We've expanded from 40 offerings to 75. Each one of those classes is being critically reviewed and built from the ground up, thought by thought, brick by brick. So if you used to train, we're not even going to train anymore. We're going to educate. And the commissioner's education program is, uh, is going to be amazing, and I mention that because in April, all 12 classes that will be offered will be offered as newly designed uh, along the principles of adult education and learn, learning and educational outcomes. So uh, put your seatbelt on and, and just hold on for the ride because it's a great one. I'm in the middle of it now, and I'm loving every day that I go to work and get to talk about education. So with that, uh, uh, I think that it, we will uh, take a stretch break. Uh, Clint's telling me I got Clint's uh, telling me we need five minutes for dinner to be ready, but I'm sure that y'all can amuse yourself for five minutes while they do that. Let's 